Hey, what's up guys? So Prime Day is officially here, and this year we've got some nice discounts on both radar detectors as well as a bunch on dash cams. And in this video, I wanna go over all the best deals that are available, and I wanna share uh, kind of the results of some of the comparison shopping that I've been doing for you guys uh, to figure out where you can find the best pricing. Sometimes it's on Amazon, sometimes it's on other sites that have been price matching and offer some additional discount coupons. And so in this video, I wanna go over everything you need to know uh, to find some really good countermeasures at the best pricing possible. <laughs> So over on my website, to make things really convenient, I've been compiling all the best deals here. I've got different sections here for different radar detectors, uh, dash cams, etc. And I'll link directly to this article down underneath the like button. Now Prime Day is going to be running for the next two days, uh, July 12th and July 13th. Uh, to take advantage of the Prime Day deals, you're going to want to be an Amazon Prime member. You can grab a free trial here, uh, and there's also places to where you can get free credits to use during Prime Day. Uh, additionally, some of these deals are going to be coming and going uh, with their flash sales, so if you take a look at this, this is where they're going to be sharing a lot of the different uh, popular Prime Day deals. So some of them actually end at the end of Prime Day, other ones end sooner. So you can take a look here to see as deals come and go. And over on my website, I'm going to be continually updating this page here uh, as new deals pop up and old ones expire. So be sure to check back here uh, throughout the next few days. So starting off with radar detectors, I'm seeing a couple deals that are available. Uh, first off, we've got the unit in R4. Uh, this one's been available now for a little while at $348. It's $100 off, and this is actually one of the best deals that I'm seeing now uh, on any radar detector. Best performing, longest range radar detector available that doesn't have arrows. Escort's got some deals going on as well. Uh, we've got the Max 3 for $100 off. Similar idea, range isn't quite as good, but still pretty good. But the main benefit here is you've got Bluetooth for your cloud alerts, uh, your speed limit display here on the face of the detector, etc. And then if you do want the directional arrows, uh, the Max 360C is available for 560 bucks, so $90 off. So if you want the directional arrows, this seems to be uh, the best deal that I'm seeing on detectors that have arrows. And speaking of arrows, literally sitting here and shooting this video, I was just double checking the R7, and it looks like this just had a price drop as well, 10% uh, off to $450. There's also the one here for $414. This is for a renewed or refurbished detector, if you want that as well. That's pretty typical. Uh, but this is a nice savings here for $450 if you're actually looking for the R7. I was hoping to see a discount on the uh, uh, R8 or something, but it looks like we're not seeing that here. There are a couple different listings here for R7s. One's 500, the other one is 450. And so I'll link to this one here so you can get the detector brand new if you'd like to pick up the R7 at a discount. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and refresh the page here. And you should go ahead and see now uh, the unit in R7 pop up right there for $50 off. So, hey, stuff keeps changing. I'm going to keep updating it for you guys. Next, let's go ahead and jump into the different dash cam deals that are available. And before we do, I want to show you one quick thing uh, also regarding pricing. If we take a look, for example, at the Blackview DR900X Plus, this is the dash cam that I run personally in my car, uh, you'll see that when you click the link, there's going to be two different options as far as places where you can buy it. We'll pull up both of those. Uh, you'll see on Amazon, it's listed right now for 10% off at 422, right? Uh, if you go over to Black Box My Car, whoops, uh, you're going to have the same pricing here listed, same discount, 422. However, there is going to be a bit of a difference. You'll see that when you go uh, add it to your cart, uh, and then we pull up your cart here, it's going to automatically apply an additional 5% off the price of the dash cam. Plus, they're not going to charge you sales tax here in the United States, and so the price difference may be even greater here once you actually go to check out above and beyond just the price that you see listed for the dash cam itself. And so when you see that kind of stuff, uh, I'm going to be linking to both different places. Uh, check them out and see kind of at the end of the day which one winds up being a better deal for you guys. So that's just something quick to mention here to save you guys even more money. And then running through the different dash cams that I'm a fan of at different price points with different features. Uh, first off, we've got the VFO A119 V3 for $79. This is my favorite kind of go-to dash cam for something under $100. Good video quality, records at 1440p, uh, nice design with the wedge shape here. Uh, you've got an LCD on the back. You've got buffered parking recording available as well. And so for under $100, this is going to be the way to go. And now for Prime Day, it's at $79.99. Now, VFO also recently released uh, the A119 Mini. It's going to be $30 more here uh, than the A119 V3. Uh, it's going to be a little bit smaller here uh, than the previous version is. Uh, but for Prime Day here, you can see it's 109 so 110 bucks. The main advantages here, it's going to be doing things like giving you Wi-Fi to connect it to your phone for file transfers. Uh, you've got USB Type-C for power. You're going to be able to use VFO's optional Bluetooth remote like this. It's kind of a uh, a secondary button that you can press to trigger the dash cam for a manual recording, voice notifications, things like that. And then quickly jumping into some front and rear dash cam options, you've got the A129 Plus Duo. So 
Uh, 1440p on the front, 1080p on the rear, so two-channel dash cam. Uh, one of my personal favorites is the VFO A129 Pro Duo. This is going to be doing 4K up front and then 1080p in the rear, plus it actually has better parking mode than the Plus does, and so this is definitely one of my favorite go-to dash cams, and for Prime Day, it's going to be 20% off here uh, for the A129 Pro Duo. If you want it with just the front-facing dash cam and you don't need the rear one, that's also available here uh, for 20% off too. Uh, next, if you want a three-channel dash cam, my favorite here is going to be the A139 three-channel dash cam, so front, interior, and rear recording, 20% off for Prime Day. Uh, there's also the T130. Uh, I've done a video kind of comparing these two recently. For Prime Day, this is going to be 33% off, so even cheaper still. Next, moving on to Blackview dash cams. I like these specifically for their cloud features, so you can get the dash cam connected to the cloud for remote notifications to your phone in case of a hit and run, or videos automatically being pushed to the cloud uh, as a secondary storage locations. Connect to your car as like a security camera remotely from your phone. So I'm a fan of this one. If you don't need the cloud stuff, maybe get a VFO or something else. But if you do like it, uh, there's the DR900X Plus, which is gonna be recording at 4K up front, 1080p for the rear. And then for that cloud connectivity, you're gonna wanna get the CM100 LTE. Basically pop a SIM card into this. Oh, look at that, it's 15 bucks off for Prime Day, 9% off, that's cool. Uh, so this, plug into the side of the dash cam, gives you your cloud connected capabilities. Uh, if you want a dash cam that actually has the LTE built in, doesn't require that accessory, uh, you can get the DR750X two channel LTE. Uh, this records 1080p front and rear, so not 4K, but it has the LTE antennas built directly in, and so you're not actually gonna be needing the external CM100 LTE to get that cloud functionality. Then for your parking mode recording, uh, you can pick up their battery pack here for 15% off, charges as you drive, and then powers your dash cam when your car is parked. Uh, then as far as Thinkware dash cams, uh, I really like them for having good reliable dash cams, and they've got a cool energy saving mode that will uh, record a lot longer than a lot of the other dash cams are uh, when you're parked. So that's really helpful. Uh, there's the Thinkware U1000 that records at 4K up front and then 2K in the rear, so even better than 1080p like the other dash cams that I've mentioned. So this is a nice option here. Uh, and there's also the Thinkware M1. This is going to be good for motorcycle riders. It comes with a pair of 1080p waterproof dash cams. Uh, and you can actually attach them to your motorcycle or ATV or something. Uh, and they're designed to be more rugged. They've got image stabilization built in, which is nice when things get kind of bumpy. So uh, for motorcycle riders, this is going to be a good option here. 100 bucks off for Prime Day. Then as far as Vantru dash cams, I like these for the suction cup. Uh, to make the installation quicker and uninstallation quicker. So for rental cars, for example, this is usually my uh, go-to option. Uh, the Vantru X4S records at 4K, uh, like a lot of the other dash cams do. Um, the parking mode is not going to be quite as sophisticated, so I like it more as, again, a rental car option for just quick and easy mounting. Uh, and then if you want some interior recording, they've got the N2 Pro, which is going to do 2K in the front, uh, and then another 1080p for the interior-facing dash cam. And then as far as accessories for the dash cams, I would definitely recommend picking up a special high endurance rated memory card that's designed uh, for dash cams where you're constantly going to be writing to that card. Uh, for Prime Day, you can pick up 128 gig cards or 256 gig cards at a discount. I personally like to pick up at least two, one for the dash cam and a second one as a backup to throw in the glove box. So in case I take the card out and bring it home to grab the video footage and I forget to bring it back next time I get in the car, I'll grab the backup out of my glove box. And because they're cheap for Prime Day, you could pick up two. And then finally, at the very bottom, just some cool miscellaneous stuff that I find to be helpful. So things like Echoes, for example, these are like 60% off for Prime Day, so all the Amazon stuff is going to be discounted nicely. Plus some of the things like uh, Apple AirPods Pro or the new Apple Watches. Uh, these are discounted as well, so I use these all the time. These are great, 32% off for Prime Day. Uh, and also the Apple Watches, I mean, these are 30% off now, which is awesome. So a really nice deal here uh, on the new Series 7 ones. It looks like this does end in just a day, though. It's not going to run for all of Prime Day, so something to be aware of. Hopefully you can grab it if you're interested before the deal expires. And then as far as phone mounts for your car, for example, I've been using the iAudi ones for a while. I like them, so 31% off here. Here's the basic one uh, to just pop the phone in the car. Uh, you've also got the wireless charging versions if you want as well. Again, a bunch of different ones with like CD slot covers. I usually use the suction cup ones, but you got a bunch of different options for whatever you need. And then as I come across just more cool, random, useful stuff, I'll drop that down here as well. And so, yeah, this here on the site is where I'm kind of compiling everything with all the links and information that you need to know here for Prime Day. The link to the page you'll find right down in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're all doing great, and I'll see you in the next video.